traditional lockup like this, the normal tendency for me with all other systems and what I'm taught is to keep this firearm away, to keep it away as far as possible. But if I do that, how many hands do I have to fight with? One. Only one. So I'm here trying to do this and keep squeezing and pushing and throwing and working me all over the place. And I've got a good viable tool. Is it easier for him to get a hold of this if it's in front of him or if it's behind him? Front of him. If it's in front of him, it's much easier. Even if it's all the way out here, he can still work himself and try and get a hold of it. All right? If this thing is behind him, try and get a hold of it now. Yeah, good luck. It's not going to happen. But the best part is, once it's a hold behind him, now my primary surface I use is the rear sight. The rear sight. And I utilize that closed muzzle grip, just like so. I have his scapula, I have his neck, I have his spine, I have his kidney. I've got anything I want to come in and with pounds per square inch to yeah, just apply a tiny bit of pressure. Tiny bit of pressure anywhere. Right there. Yeah, that's, that's for real. He's not acting. That's for real. I'm coming here on his kidney. Right there. I'm getting a whole, I'm barely pulling, barely, barely, barely pulling, right? In this sense, just come in and just get a hook on my head, just like we're going to lock up the grapple, just, just, just a hook on my head, right there, okay? Anything. Now it's his deltoid, it's here, like this, all right? Just lock in and clinch like this. Now it's his bicep with one hand, right there on his bicep, right here on his forearm. If he had me in a bear hug, okay? Just a simple bear hug, right here. The metacarpals, yeah, right there. It's so little pressure, it's incredible. On the radial nerve, right here on his forearm, right there, outside edge on his bicep, right in there into his humerus joint, anything. Now, do I want to put the muzzle into myself? No. No, absolutely not. Okay? Go ahead and shoot a takedown on one of my legs. Just shoot in low like you're driving for a takedown. So we got him down here for a takedown. What else can I do? Can I take and strike here if I want? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can, but I can also utilize this as well. That can go in reverse. Go ahead and stand up. What if I find myself down in this position? Now I've got his hamstring here, okay? The back of his knee, his calves, all right? Anywhere. You guys are going to do this to each other. You're going to see just how painful it is. It's incredibly, incredibly, incredibly painful. Questions on that? Now, what you have to be able to do is to transition from one to the other. So, if he's got me from the front here locked up somehow, and I start with this, you saw his hand just come loose, right? Mm -hmm. Now I'm perhaps shifting to another location, there's the gap. There's the hole, right? You guys see the opening? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to shift from control measures, trapping measures, to what? Fancy. To strikes. So I create strikes, and there's the distance that I'm after to get out and get away. Everybody understand? Yep. It's incredibly, incredibly effective. Just that rear sight right there. The beautiful part is you just kind of look about anywhere. Just about anywhere on the body, and you can find some place. Get him here, 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 on the neck, floating ribs, in the kidney, small of the back, metacarpals, they're, they're everywhere. Everywhere. Because all it is is just all of your energy is focused over that rear sight as you put it in. Just One thing you will find, though, to get most effective is your elbows, if they flare out to the sides, you're going to be weak. If they drop in close, you'll be strong. So my elbows, my elbows out like this, it hurts a little bit, right? But my elbows, when they lock in here, and I start to see, it's all ready. It's almost double the amount. Plus, there's no wiggle room for him to get out. Everybody understand? And why am I doing this? Save his life. Save his life. Watch your anchor there, too. Partner up. <laughs>